What is up, everybody? This is Trenton once again at the Vans Warp Tour in Charlotte, North Carolina. This time with Broad's ad. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Doing well. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> Introduce we yourselves real quick and what y'all do in the band. Hi, I'm Niles and I play guitar in Broadside. Uh, I'm Andrew and I play drums in Broadside. I'm Oliver and I sing in Broadside. I'm Dorian. I play guitar and sing in Broadside. <laughs> All right, awesome. So uh, real quick, where did the name Broadside come from? It's an interesting uh, name. Well, um, yeah, I like I like sailor stuff, uh, nautical terms, if you will. Yeah. We like one uh, one word band names. Okay. Because like at the time we formed three word band names were big, so we're like, dude, fuck it, let's just go with one. <laughs> and and that was one. the one we uh, we settled with. So. Okay, everybody's yeah. got one now, one word name. Yeah, right. yeah. I guess that's true now. So you guys are, are from Richmond originally, correct? That's yeah. correct. So uh, what was it like coming through the up through the scene there and everything? Um, it was tough. You know, there was a lot of uh, competition, but it was also. Um, a very hardcore city. We had two types of dudes, dudes that were into hardcore and then dudes that weren't. And so it was cool <laughs> uh, to go to hardcore shows. There's a lot of good bands there and a lot of amazing bands that influenced us, such as <clears throat> Down to Nothing. Conditions? I was going to say Conditions. Guar. <laughs> Strike Anywhere. Lamb of God. Avail. I don't know. And that, that's a lot of good bands that raised Scarlet. Us. Yeah, Scarlet. Oh, <laughs> naturally. Yeah, Scarlet. So, yeah, so, so that's the sort of thing we grew up going to and idolizing, and I think that it was a good place to uh, be raised in, a good scene. It's tough to get in, you know? Awesome. So, so um, you guys are, you know, you guys get labeled as a pop-punk band, but you guys have a very interesting take on the genre. By far, definitely, I think, one of, in my opinion, one of the most original-sounding pop-punk bands and stuff, and oh, a lot of that has to do with you over there with those vocals and stuff. Because like, I mean, So, like, who are some of your influences? Because I've compared you guys, I mean, I hope this is an insult or anything, but I've said if Tyler Carter sang in a pop-punk band, it's kind of like what, what it sounds like and stuff. So Tyler, if you're watching this, <laughs> I love you, bud. <laughs> so, yeah, so, like, what is, what are, who are some of your influences vocally and stuff to get, to get that, uh, provide that different sound and stuff? Oh, well, I am really inspired by rhythm and blues. Um, okay. Usher is one of my favorite artists of all time, um, as long as well as R. Kelly and Otis Redding. Um, but um, let's see, more modern, I would say like Johnny Craig. Um, before he was an asshole, <laughs> I thought he was really cool. I liked what he was like. Yeah, I got I got this soul, and I'm gonna put it over like you know electronic and hardcore music. Okay, I thought that was cool. Um, but I'm also really into like that band Conditions from Richmond. I love his melodies. Yeah. I really like it's very big and it's it's very like woe is me, but it's also very theatrical in a way. And I'm kind of inspired by that. I like to do tricks, you know, like I like to I like to to put stuff in there that like vocalists would be like, yo, respect. And then <laughs> the ladies will be like, oh, that's cool. You know? <laughs> it's all for the ladies in the end. Um, yeah, so like he has the R&B flair. So where do you guys get the uh, your influences for the music and stuff to put that together to form this sound and all that? Um, I don't know. We, uh, we, we, we listen, I don't know. We, like we listen to so much different stuff while we were writing the record. And I, that definitely played in the influence. And a lot of stuff, it was me listening for the first time. And it, I feel like it definitely carried over. Stick to your guns. We listen to a lot. Um, Drake. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> Katy Perry, The Millionaires. Albert. Blood on the, Blood on the dance floor. Broken side. What about Broken Side? You can't forget my them. <laughs> Not, no Broken Side. Uh, come, come back, kid. And Albert. Um, yeah, <laughs> YouTube Albert. Yeah. YouTube Albert. Um, but uh, a lot of stuff that we were, at least I was like getting into, and we were all were kind of listening to for the first time, and trying to like translate new ideas from like new sounds that we've never listened to before. And uh, but a lot of that stuff and. Are y'all laughing at me? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm studying you. We're laughing with you. Though. I have a question. What? Are we supposed to look at the camera or can we look at you? You can look at me, the camera, okay. each other. At casual? Look. I'm, a, yeah. cause I'm like, <laughs> I'm like angled. I can't look into the eyes. Sorry to interrupt that. I just uh, really care. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. So, yeah. What, Andrew, were you inspired by anything when you were making beats on the record? Mm, no. No? No, I don't know. Like, just... He just learned how to play drums. I just, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I was like, whatever, dude. Just throw me in. So that was it. All right. Mike Puentes, Pierce the Veil. I love you. you. Um, I feel cool. Like Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm good. 
Okay, okay next All question. Right. So you guys are a newer band on the Warp Tour, Fresh Face and stuff, and there's already been like, you know, from I'm seeing on social media, just a huge push for you guys. A lot of people are saying you're one of the most, most must-see bands on the tour this year and stuff. So how does that make you guys feel being like on the first year and stuff, and then like you got this decent sized following you know for our first timers and all that it's flattering <laughs> yeah i mean it's kind of what you know i'm gonna sound like the guy but that's what i wanted to happen like i wanted to come here and i wanted to be uh sought after and i wanted to be demanded and i think that's what any band wants and i'm um, we're not afraid to admit it you know we've been busting our ass like every other band here and we want people to tell other people because in the modern world records don't sell word of mouth does so it's important that people go home and talk about broadside or be legitimately pissed that they missed our set so um at the end of the day if they're <laughs> tweeting like yo i had so much fun at broadside i got kicked in the head by an old grandpa um <laughs> by, aka andrew um that that's what we need um and so it it is flattering but at the same time it feels it's a nice little payoff for you know keeping it real and not not putting up a facade all right so Awesome. So, you guys got anything coming up after the tour? You guys are kind of like a year and a half in on your record, Old Bones and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> true. That shit is vintage. <laughs> is there uh, is there any uh, works in the music after the tour? Is there anything you guys been working on uh, before the tour or anything? Let the people know, Dorian. Uh, yeah, I, we started dem demoing and writing out uh, LP number two, and uh, <laughs> it's, the it's the name is Lincoln Park Two. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, we started writing for the second record and. Uh, I think hopefully we're gonna kind of allot some studio time and see what we can make happen. And we have some uh, some various like tour plans that are still in the works, and okay. hopefully we'll be back around real soon. All right, sweet. So I usually ha save this round for some fun questions and stuff, but you guys are uh, you look like you got some muscle and you got some muscle, so I'm gonna see you guys arm wrestle each other if y'all. Oh like yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Go I'm for it. Go for it, Andrew. Yeah, let's I'll do least. this. All right. I can I got. <laughs> I have to hold the microphone, guys. All right, so it's right, going to be so Niles and it's Dorian. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. How are we going to do it? Just right, yeah, on the right table. Here. Yeah, there's a table right there. All so. right. Let's narrate this. Uh, I'll let him narrate All right. this. <laughs> All right, we got Niles with the old 90-degree pointer and Dorian with the slight lean right, to him. Dorian's been oh, sipping want, on that cognac lemon lime jello shooter. Oh, dude, All right. All right. And then we got Dorian with the firm grip, Niles with a with the first date grip. All right. Matching hats. One is darker than the other. On the count of three, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. One, two, three. Oh, the grip is there. The tension is there. You see Niles freaking out a little. He might lose. He might lose. He might, lose. He might wait till the last second. Dorian with the hammer. Dorian is holding that hand down like a teddy bear in the night. Oh, let it go. Oh, Niles got the face. He said, I'm going to win this. Let him win. There you go. There he goes. Thank you very much. And tomorrow, I, I don't know when this video comes out, but we're going to be filming a music video at Warped Tour tomorrow. So, eh, turn out. Eh. What? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you. <laughs>